Okay. All right, welcome to Christ Centered Gamers' brand new Nintendo Switch unboxing. Here we have the Nintendo Switch in its box, along with two new games we just got. We got The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Look at these tiny little cartridges. Isn't that something? And then we've got Super Bomberman R for the 33rd anniversary of Bomberman. All right. And again, tiny little cartridge. I find it interesting that this case has instructions on how to play, but no instruction manual. You know, the old school kinds. No actual paper. Just, and this has just got art. They're about the size of PSP cases. I guess I could grab a PSP case and we could compare. I'll grab a PSP case. Here we've got PSP. Where are you? Okay, so we've got a random PSP game and a Vita, and it is about the size of a, it's actually a little bit smaller than a uh, PSP game. How interesting. Okay, well let's get to the system itself. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, it actually, this came from GameStop and UPS. UPS has dropped it off about five minutes ago. And this appears to be the lever to open. I've not opened this yet. Ah, let's flip it over like this. And oh, look! Wow, that is smaller. I've seen it in person because we saw that went to the Switch event. But taking it out of the box yourself, it's smaller than I expected. A little scratched up. Huh. All right. Well, before we take everything out, we'll just remove all the pieces that come with. All right, so you got the little Joy-Cons, and these things are tiny. It needs to be said, they're small. Very little. All right. And here's the other Joy-Con. As you can see, they are not quite symmetrical. Close, but not quite. This one has the home button. This one has, I think it's a share button of some kind. They have sync buttons in here. What are you doing? Sync buttons in here. A little tiny triggers, which certain games use, like Bomberman. I don't know if they use them, but I think they do. And, uh... Alright. So! Oh, one of them fell out, so we might as well look at it. Home button. That's what it is. Home button on this one, and... I think it's a share button. I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright. And these absolutely teeny tiny little triggers. The controllers are very small. Probably good for two-year-olds, but that's okay. They still work for the rest of us. All right, and we got the cardboard insert. And we've got our health and safety manual. That one needs to be healthy and safe. Um, ah, yes, the docking station. Okay. Let's go ahead and take that out. All right. That box. Okay, so we've got here the Nintendo Switch logo, and then where your Switch goes, right there, and a little port in the back where you have, what do we got here, how do we open this, it looks up, oh, there we go, it's just a flip door, AC adapter port, which looks like a USB Type-C port, a USB port for USB Type 3.0, and then an HDMI output right there. It's pretty simple. Um, looks like it's a Type-C insert right there. This is uh, pretty simple. Oh, and here's two more USB ports on the side. And that's the dock. All right, we have the Joy-Con handles for console use. If you are going to use the tablet, which I suppose I'll take out now, by itself, Oh, there's dust on it already. <sighs> you can never make heat touch screens clean. Is there a screen protector on there? No, that must be a sensor of some kind. It looks like it looks like there's little... Okay, maybe there's speakers right here? I, I can't really tell what those are. And then there's some kind of sensor right there. Maybe it's a... I don't know if it's a camera or just a light sensor or what. I don't know what that is. And then we've got on the top a power button. 
and then a volume of what looks like a volume knobs here, um, events for cooling, a headphone jack, a game card slot right here, which should fit our cool little game cards. And then we've got the bottom USB Type C port. Uh, what looks like speakers in the back, and the little dimples for the docking station. And I believe the SD card is under this. Yep, there it is, micro SD card. We have a 200 gig waiting for us upstairs, so we'll get that a little bit later. All right, and then we've got ah yes, these. These are for the Joy Cons. When you keep them outside of the this, they add a little bit more bulk to them and add a nice wrist strap which is safer for those of us who like to whip things around because the Joy-Cons do support motion controls. So let's see, this is the plus and the minus. So I don't think these are supposed to go together. So let's see if the minus and minus go together. No. Oh, are they reversible? They're reversible. Oh, ain't that special. All right, so if I'm doing this right, which is actually kind of hard to tell if you are, it sure looks that way. They should slide down. Maybe it's, hmm. It doesn't seem to want to slide down. I'm afraid I don't want to break the brand new thing I just got. Okay, maybe it's like that. No, I don't know, it's, it's being stubborn. It doesn't want to go in. Try the other one. Cut it out. Uh, okay, this one seems to fit on there. Which is strange because they look exactly the same. They don't appear any different in any way. Alright, let's try the other side. Yeah, this one. Okay, it was just stubborn. But it did work, eventually work, okay. So as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little, the buttons are bigger for the trigger. You can hold down your wrist. Whatever this lock thing means right here, it's got that. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go. And this, oh, or they can go in here. So you slide this down. I believe you push this button first. And even though I've used this, I've never actually taken these on or off before. So you are seeing this for the first time. Welcome to my embarrassment. I can't get it off. Wow, that was harder than I expected. Ah, that's what that does. Okay, this is a lever to lock it on and off. Now that's that's why it was so difficult. Okay, what does that do? It pushes... Okay. Alright, well I can't see what it does, but... That's the difference. This little lever was in lock mode, and when it's down, it's not in lock mode. So then... Alright, this is still not the best design, but it works. Okay. And then the same thing with this guy. Just slide it right in. Yeah, this, this goes in much easier. And there's your comfort mode controller with your non d-pad and there it is however despite all this time of playing around with this what's this lever i wonder does that do anything maybe not despite all this i'm probably have to put it on there because it's got to charge it so there we go on to the final destination for now the new non-portable switch all right that. Okay. Interesting. At the Nintendo conference, they did not let us actually hold one of these. We got to look at them. They didn't let us hold them. Okay, and then it includes an HDMI cable, which every good modern system needs. It includes the power brick with the USB-C charging cable. It would help if I took it out of the right end. And this is a 5 volt 1.5 amp or 15 volt 2.6 amp. That's a little surprising. 
5 volts should be pretty standard and probably will work with any USB-C cable. I actually have one for my GPD Win and probably can use that with this. But the 15 volt is not standard and probably will not work on, well, anything else. I'm assuming that's for this guy here. So, let's see what it looks like turning on. So, I'm going to unplug the Wii U over there. Plug this in the spot and plug in the switch. So let's go over here. Unplug this guy. Plug this guy in here. And find our little port on the bottom. And turn. Oh, look at that. It gave me status light. And, ooh, look at that. It turned on automatically? Or is it just in a charging screen? There we go. English is good. The Americas is good. I guess I have no choice. Just about to accept the licensing agreement. All right, you get to not see my secret network settings. Okay, it's connecting. You guys, you can come around now. Connecting to the internet. All right, we're working, we're live. I am not in there, I'm in Chicago. I will connect it to TV later. Yeah, all right. Does it actually want me to do that now? suppose it does. Use the left stick and press A on the right controller. Okay, so we have little choice since I chose not to do this on TV. Uh, that's awkward. I can't definitely do that with this thing plugged in. Uh, yep, we're not going to be able to do that. We're just going to lay it down. And hit next. And you can choose the console with the joy control is attached or detached. Use the short trial you can prefer, then continue. So your icon and nickname. Cool. Alright, well, I think we're starting to see that it is ready to go. And I can well I think I'll let you, I'll surprise you all with what we do from here. But uh, thank you for watching the unboxing video of uh, the Nintendo Switch on Christ Center Gamer. Thank you very much. Alright, bye bye. Good stuff.